Hey guys, for Valentine's Day this year, we wanted to go to a new restaurant we hadn't eaten at before. We decided to give Pago a try. This restaurant in Salt Lake sounded interesting because it's a higher-end restaurant with a laid-back feel. The restaurant itself is interesting. It's housed in an older building in the city, which to be honest made parking unnecessarily difficult. The kitchen is in the middle of the restaurant, so you can watch the food as it's being prepared, which is kind of cool. Now, since it was Valentine's Day, it was a fixed menu, so the options were more limited than usual. The start of the meal did not bode well since there was no bread service, and I generally judge a restaurant pretty strongly on their bread service. But our server was really nice, and since I don't drink alcohol, she worked with the bartender to make me a really good mocktail. He got the snake tartare for a starter. It was really delicious. I generally don't love eating raw meat, but it was well prepared. The garlic aioli was a really nice added flavor, and the brioche tasted really good as well. It had a nice outer crust, but was still soft in the center. I ordered the roasted Brussels sprouts. The parsnip was honestly overwhelming in this dish, and I didn't really taste any coconut. The Brussels sprouts were too bitter, and the horseradish didn't help with the flavor either. I didn't like this dish. He ordered the seared duck breast entree. The duck was very tender, but generally I don't prefer duck because it tastes just like slightly more substantial fat. I did like the dish when I had a bite with everything in it though, because the cherries and blackberry gastrique really brightened up the plate. I chose the roasted beef tenderloin for my main course. The meat was so tender and well cooked. The sear on the crust was really nice. The roasted garlic palm puree was tasty, but I mean, you can't really mess up mashed potatoes. The green beans were nice and fresh and they were really good with the sauce and in a full bite with the potatoes and meat, which is surprising because I don't really like green beans. I also was surprised that I liked the sauce since it's made with mustard and I don't usually love that, but it was surprisingly good. I do wish this dish had had something more sweet to balance the rest of the plate as a whole. For dessert, he got the beignet souffle. They were a nice, light, sweet bread, and the creme anglaise was fresh and sweet. The chocolate was a nice offset to that sweetness, so even though this was a more plainer, traditional dish, they were done really well, so it was super tasty. The strawberry frangipane tart with ginger caramel was a more complicated dessert in terms of flavor. It wasn't a very sweet dessert. The strawberry flavor was really light and baked into the tart. The ginger was more pronounced, but was offset by the caramel. Overall, it was tasty, but since I prefer a sweeter dessert, I probably wouldn't get this again. Generally, this was a good restaurant, and I felt like the ingredients were high quality and the dish preparation was well done. My complaints are mostly about flavors that I don't prefer, so I would probably come back to Pago to try a more standard meal before making a final decision on this restaurant. Thanks for coming along as I gave Pago a try. See you next time.